today we're putting two mid-high range GPUs head to head, the Nvidia RTX 5070 and the AMD RX 9070. Both come with the same MSRP, $549, but that's about where the similarities end. Under the hood, the RTX 5070 is built on Nvidia's latest Blackwell architecture with 12GB of GDDR7 memory and all the usual suspects, DLSS 4.0 frame generation, better encoding support and strong driver maturity. The RX 9070 on the other hand is based on AMD's RDNA 4 architecture, it packs 16GB uh, of GDDR6 memory and wider memory bus and focus on raw raster performance. No AI based frame boosting here, just brute force rendering. To figure out which card actually gives you more for the money, I tested 16 modern games at native 4K resolution. No DLSS, no FSR, no frame generation, just clean raw native performance. Frame rates, 1% low average, power draw and real world efficiency. Let's go through numbers. In God of War Ragnarok, the RX 9070 pulled 108 FPS while the RTX 9070 delivered 94. F1 24 gave us 167 on the RX and 158 on the RTX. In Black Meat Wukong, things were tired. 40 versus 37. Remnant 2 was practically identical. 57 FPS on RX card and 56 on RTX. In Cyberpunk 2077, the RX 9070 hits 88 FPS while the 57th stayed at 76. <laughs> Total War Warhammer 3 came in at 72 for RX and 63 for RTX. In Dragon Age Veilguard we got 68 FPS on RX and 60 on RTX. Marvel Rivals was one of the few wins for Nvidia. 77 on RTX and 67 on RX. Excellent teamwork. <laughs> In 
Assassin's Creed Mirage, the RX 9070 reached 108 FPS, RTX followed by at 19.3. Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster showed 95 FPS on RX card and 79 on RTX. Civilization 7 was so close, 133 vs 125. In Avatar from Tears of Pandora, it was 49 vs 47, very minor difference. Return gave us 89 FPS on RX and 86 on RTX, again almost identical. Hogwarts Legacy showed the biggest gap, 85 on the RX 9070 and 68 FPS on the RTX 5070. <sighs> Allow me to put you out of your misery. It's been a while since I killed a unicorn. Now where did I... This is pointless. In Stalker 2, we recorded 44 and 42 FPS respectively. And finally, the Callisto Protocol was one of the few where RTX 5070 came out on top. 107 FPS compared to 101 on RX card. In total, the RX 9070 came out ahead in 13 of the 16 games, tied in 1 and lost in 2, and the performance gap wasn't small, the RX was around 9% faster on average. Now, let's talk about power and value. In terms of raw average, FPS RX 9070 hits 86 across all games, while RTX 5070 delivered 79. So yes. AMD is faster. Now, what does that mean for cost per frame? At MSRP, the RX 9070 costs $6.41 per frame. The RTX 5070, $6.93 per frame. Already a win for AMD, but that's not the full story. In actual retail pricing, RX 9070 goes up to $70.59 per frame, dollars of course, while RTX 5070 jumps to $8.20. So even on shelves, AMD still gives you more frames per dollar.
What about power draw? Surprisingly, the RX 9070 also comes out ahead. Average gaming power consumption is 237 watts on the RX and 245 on the RTX. So not only is the EMD faster, but it's also drawing less power. If we calculate watt per frame efficiency, the RX 9070 uses 2.77 watts per frame. The RTX 5070, 3.09 watts. So yeah. EMD is both faster and more efficient, at least in these 4K gaming scenarios. On paper, this matchup looks close. Same price, similar positioning, but in testing, RX 9070 just delivers more. It's faster across the board. It uses less power, it's more efficient per frame. And it's cheaper, even in real world pricing. Now look, the RTX 5070 still has value. If you need stronger NVENC codec, uh, Cook the course, DLSS, or we are building a system that benefits from NVIDIA's broader ecosystem, it makes sense. But if your focus is purely on raw 4K performance, frame per frame, what for what, RX 9070 is the better deal, and not by a little. In GPU market where value is harder and harder to find, this is one of those rare cases where the numbers actually speak clearly, and they're saying AMD wins this round.